here we are spawning in the top left hand corner of the map we have a red protoss player from no mercy it is going to be a hape or hape it's, I'm going to call him Hape. Hape is very, very Dutch of me to say. But Hape is spawning the red Protoss towards the top left corner of the map Habitation Station. Our orange Protoss player from Skillforge is going to be spawning at the top right hand corner. He is, of course, Cuban. A Protoss versus Protoss. I do believe I said it was a Terran versus Protoss earlier. But that was just a mistake in the lobby. It's, in fact, a Protoss versus Protoss. Now, what kind of strategies will we see? No Proxy 2 gate. No 10 gate coming down as well. This looks to be a very standard game so far. Protoss versus Protoss is definitely going to be my worst matchup. Against against Zerg and Terran, I get about a 70% win rate this season. While not even playing that much. But this morning I had a win rate against Protoss of 8%. And I'm ashamed to say it actually. I love the matchup. I just don't want to play it that often well i do want to play it i want to improve in it that's for sure but the opponent is just too good every time and every protos versus protos i will lose but at least i won one where i held off a brilliant cannon rush but <laughs> that's not something that you see on this level a whole lot double gas being taken by cuban also for his opponent hape and he puts four workers on his gas, guys. He's going to get that Simon at his core started as quickly as he can. Even Oh, he's cutting a little bit of a worker for that. But that's okay. Hape on the other side of the map getting his own Simon at his core at exactly the same time. He, he as well is putting four workers on his gas mining. So not really 100% prioritization of that gas income. So it is looking completely mirrored at this point the first difference is going to come through right now the zealot is being started by cuban which he might use for scouring but he might also just use it to get some extra early defense going that probe of hape is just being so incredibly annoying here actually getting that zealot out will make sure that that probe is not going to be around for very long you miss one moment of microing that probe and you are going to get it killed off and there we go the zealot gets the first blood in this game and the probe of cuba of cuban still being annoying inside the base but with that stalker spawning now he has to get out of there now mother's record being added on by both these players and there we go hey putting down that uh, twilight council he is either going to go for blink or for a dark shrine right now on the other side of the map, Cuban going to go for a star gate play, and with it, uh, with oracles, you will have that detection. You also have some harassment possibilities, but against full blink, only phoenixes, in my opinion, are really good against that. Void rays just get taken out too quickly for that. But the mothership core of Cuban is going to get sent out. There is a stalker here trying to intercept it. Will it have the vision on it very soon? He might catch a glimpse of it. Yes, he does see it. But the Mothership Core, no, the Mothership Core actually does not have any recall at this moment. This is going to be completely sacrificial. But at least the Twilight Council has been spotted. That probe is ready to put down the Dark Shrine. But he is going to wait until the Mothership Core is dead. And there is the Dark Shrine. But this is going to be enough for Cuban to assume that this is going to come. And the first Oracle, of course, on the production tab. It will go for the harassment. But he might just go for a second Oracle for the detection back at home. But losing that Mothership Core is still very costly for Cuban it's going to he's going to lose a little bit of pro production if he wanted to go for an expansion and also he is going to lose that 100 100 gas incredibly early on in this game but warp gate research now being done for both these players the robotics facility is going to be added for hape because hape did not scout his opponent in quite some time he does not know that this oracle is going to come down and let's see if he can get some damage done but there is a mothership core with that uh, he's, there's a mothership core with that photon overcharge and the uh, oracle gets out of there immediately this does get one kill but that is all that he's going to get today one zealot of cuban is going to get the denial on that on that pylon very soon he might just even be able to kill it off before that dark shrine is done but a zealot does get warped in making sure that, that pylon stays alive cuban will know where those dark tempers will be coming from the first one does get warped in the Zealot does get killed off 
and two stalks on the top of that ramp he is using that envision ability very early on but that dark templar is not really going to get any damage done now both players of course also going to go for the for the nexus right now it is being scouted the dark templar will bite the dust by those two oracles that's actually a pretty big commitment but he did not lose that first oracle so that's going to be very nice for uh, for cuban right now and they will finish off that reinforcing pylon that hype had across the map also two oracles they are going to be on the map they will provide cuban with positioning information in the later stage of the game or he can send them in and two oracles do clean out a mineral line pretty quickly but looking at the current probe count it is pretty much equal cuban starting up his probe production a little bit earlier than hape and he is currently two workers ahead but that is going to equalize in a very rapid stage forge going to be added on the robotics facility going to come through too are we seeing another dark templar yes there is another dark templar he might get a few kills right there but there is an observer with this army three kills at least the fourth one going to come through but that's another immortal going to go down uh, another dark templar going to come down and how many kills do they do these oracles have they have two and five that's a lot of worker skills five to six workers have been killed off so harassment going down everywhere and zealot charge actually already being started by hape he is getting that very early on he's only operating off of three gateways at this point he does not really have any zealots at uh, really too he only has one zealot and he is going to go for the zealot charge but that means that he can go for a very powerful he can go for a very powerful immortal archon follow-up with charge zealous behind his two or he might not even want to wait for that as well now photon cannon being added on by hape inside his main base oracles going in once again for the worker kills getting a few extra yeah he is getting two extra worker kills right there definitely going to be worth cuban's effort and he is forcing those stalkers to be at home he's forcing hape to produce a few more stalkers than he really wants to because stalkers are a useless unit in the later stages of a pvp now the robotics facility for cuban is going to be added on inside his main base of course and it looks like he wants to go for Colossi. If he can get them out in time before a lot of Zealots are charging up his ramp, he's going to be in great shape. There is nothing really for Hape anytime soon that will break uh, that will break the uh, force fields. But he is getting the Templar Archive, so he is, has the possibility to go for Archons to break those. Uh, to break those force fields now four extra gateways going to be added on it looks like hape wants to be to base this game another proxy pilot is going to go down he wants to be very aggressive there are a few sentries for cuban at the front banking up a little bit of that energy and getting those pylons making sure that the surface area of zealots will be pretty small too first colossus is about to be done range has not been started and again those uh, those stalkers have to remain back at home those oracles can move in once again in case they want to but they are also packing quite a punch against zealots for sure with how quickly they do their damage but with that colossus already being out a second one on the way still no uh, still no a thermal lens has been started but he needs to defend against this does he know that it is going to come down I'm not quite sure if he has seen it actually he's he has not seen the reinforcing pilot he has not seen the attack at all he just knows about the amount of gateways that is in his opponent's base and he is assuming that an attack is going to come hey it has the plus one attack upgrade but so does cuban the only difference is that zealot charge is done for hey too but the plus one armor for cuban also about to be done getting that quite a bit earlier than his opponent prioritizing that armor over the attack upgrades a second colossus is going to join this army and with that second colossus i don't really think that hape can really make anything happen here there is no immortal to really deal the damage against the colossi and they can just be kited back the oracles also going inside that mineral line once again two stalks i'm not even quite sure if that is going to be enough probably with that plus one attack upgrade it is going to be enough to kill off those <laughs> to kill off those uh, oracles sorry i had to peek there it was lost for words again a little bit but actually a third base from hape is going to come through again the pro the oracles going in for some extra worker kills 
he is up to 10 already and look at that he scouts a third base so he knows his opponent is not going to go all in over this attack one probe of cuban patrolling at the front to see if something is coming he did not see any of the pilots he does not really know where his opponent's army is he just knows that there are some units inside the natural base now two zealots do get warped in oh, two dark zealots and two dark templars get warped in into the war prism at this point this is not being scouted but there are photon cannons ready for a cuban inside that mineral line to make sure that the dark tenders will not do too much damage but three gateways are going to oh the two gateways and the twemplar archives are going to be rendered useless at this point and the oracles will make sure that there is detection but there is an observer with this army i'm pretty sure too they got one uh, one gateway they killed it off but with the revelation on that one <laughs> but with a revelation on that one war prism he is not going to be unnoticed for a very long time but still the third base for happy uh, for hape is now done he can saturate it in the very near future because the main base will be getting low very soon but it looks like cuban has had enough he has three colossi he has two immortals he has a bunch of zealots and he has of course those ex and those high templars four archons now again that Warpism is moving in. He has one Dark Templar inside his cargo space right now. But there are two Oracles there to defend. They don't have any energy anymore. He, he already used the Revelation, uh, the Envision ability right there. There are now two Immortals in this army of Hape now too. And he is spreading out very, very big. So he can have a huge concave on Cuban if he wants to go for the attack. But he is taking another route. He is going towards the south side, making sure that Cuban is go uh, making sure that Hape is not going to get the engagement that he wants to. But with the Immortals and these units in the front, Cuban has found a brilliant position. The Zealots cannot get the best engagement right there. There are some Stalkers blinking to the sides to get the kill on one of the Colossi, but I don't think that they will even get it. And the Zealots clean up everything. Cuban is 50 supply up and he has broken his opponent. He did not go for the third base. There was some harassment going inside his main base, but it does not matter because Hape does not have anything back at home. And 